This is Science Made Simple, and I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist. Today we're going to discuss an analytical technique called paper chromatography. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a paper coffee filter, a transparent glass or cup, room temperature water to place in the glass or cup, and a black marker. I'm using a Crayola black marker, a washable one. Use a marker that's non-permanent. Analytical chemists obtain information about the structure of matter using various techniques and methods. One of those methods is called paper chromatography. Chromatography is a technique used for the separation of mixtures. Thus, paper chromatography is the separation of mixtures using paper. Today, we're going to use paper chromatography to determine if this black marker is really black. In order to obtain the variety of colors that we see in markers, it is often necessary to combine multiple dyes of various colors. That includes even black markers. Now, if this black marker is made up of multiple dyes, I should be able to separate those colors out using paper chromatography. Now, I carefully chose a marker that I know is affected by water. As a result, I'm going to use water as my solvent for this paper chromatography experiment. Paper chromatography functions as a result of molecular polarity. Polarity is the separation of positive and negative charges within a molecule. The combination of two hydrogens and one oxygen in water is a polar combination, while the dye or dyes in the marker each have their own molecular makeup with different polarities. As the water moves up the coffee filter, the dye or dyes in the black marker that have polarities that are most similar to the polarity of water will move up the coffee filter closest to the water line. Therefore, after a few minutes, we should be able to see if the black marker is black or if it is actually a combination of colors. Because we're using water as our solvent, there's no need for goggles. However, if I were to choose a different solvent, like say rubbing alcohol, I would highly recommend wearing splash goggles. First, take your coffee filter and fold it in half. Then, fold it in half another time until it appears as one fourth of its original size. With the marker, draw a single line about one inch from the bottom of the filter in the shape of a semicircle. Flip the filter over and draw another line along the same spot on the other side of the filter. Now pour just enough water into the cup so that only the tip of the filter touches the water. Open up the filter so that it sits by itself in the cup and the tip of the filter is touching the water. Be careful not to allow the marker line to go into the water. Now we wait for a few minutes as the water slowly moves up the filter. Make sure to write down your observations as the process continues. Once the water line makes it to the top of the coffee filter, carefully remove the filter from the water. What do you see? Was our hypothesis correct? Yes, indeed. The color in this black marker comes from at least three different dyes. Now, go back and repeat the entire experiment, but this time, Use a permanent marker, like a black Sharpie. Does it separate out the same? Does it separate out at all? Why or why not? In fact, 
You could do the entire experiment over again using the black Crayola marker, but this time use a different solvent. Instead of using water, try rubbing alcohol. Do the colors separate out the same? Is the separation as great or is it smaller? Give it a try. Let me know what your results are in the comment section. I'll see you next time.